Mengele Bar Kamya, I'm Angus Watson bringing you bullet points. The Ministry of Labor filed a lawsuit against bankrupt Korean shoe manufacturer's master sports on Friday. The government says the company breached workers' rights set down by Burma's rules for international investment. The factory closed suddenly in June. 755 workers remain uncompensated and have not been paid since May. On Thursday, 800 protesters marched on the Korean embassy in Rangoon. Burma has vowed to implement the International Labour Organization's Convention on Child Labour. On Wednesday, Parliament said the agreement would come into force on the 18th of December. Child labour has long been common in Burma, and until now, the government has done little to stop it. Last year, Napidor ratified the ILO's convention to eliminate the worst forms of child labour. And during a parliament session on Wednesday, they vowed to implement the agreement this December. <laughs> Convention 182 defines the worst forms of child labour as slavery, trafficking and bondage, forced recruitment for use in war, sexual exploitation and using a child for drug trafficking. Because Burma has now ratified the convention, they're obliged to take immediate action to abolish child labour and enforce laws so that those who break them are punished. <laughs> The government also pledged to rehabilitate children who have suffered labour abuses. Burma must now ensure it can monitor the laws and set up effective measures to end child labour abuses. Police in Lashio, Shan State, have arrested parents from two separate families thought to have sold their daughters to be brides in China. The young women were allegedly sold for $2,700 and $3,500 respectively. They remain in China. The case was reported as Burmese government officials are visiting the country to discuss combating human trafficking. This Saturday is Martyrs Day in Burma. The day marks the murder of nine independence leaders in 1947. Among them was Aung San, who is considered the father of modern Burma. Security is tightening around the Martyrs Mausoleum in Rangoon ahead of the event. The monument becomes the focus of official commemorations each year and will be visited tomorrow by Aung San Suu Kyi alongside heads of government. That was Bullet Points. You can find more at dvb.no. Thanks for watching.